so I'm back finally. And I'm sorry I haven't done a vlog recently because I've been trying to stay alive and make some money. So in the meantime I thought, why not do a tutorial on making a director's treatment? A director's treatment is a document that concisely outlines all the elements of a film from story to visual style to soundtrack and characters and everything like that. So why would you do a treatment? First of all, treatments impress people so much and I've had this experience so many times. If you make a treatment, people are automatically more interested in what you've got to say because they're like, hey, this guy knows what he's doing and he knows what his vision is and he knows how to get it. Now we get to the fun part, which is writing. But if you don't feel massively confident in writing and you're not really sure where to start, a little tip that I find really handy is going into a room, taking your phone with you and recording a voice memo and just start talking about your film and how you want it to feel, what the tone is like, the characters, just everything about it. Then when you put that into a computer you can just listen to it and just take like little sound bites from it. Then you can add on to it later and write some more. It just gives you a good starting point for your treatment so you can get started and get straight into it. Now the next step is structure. So for me, and this is just the way I do it, so you can do it any way you want. So I'd usually start with the intro slash tone. Just gives people an idea of how I want my film to feel or my music video. And then I'd kind of get into characters. And then I'd go to the script and the story. The main action beats in your film. And then there's the theme, which basically just gives people an underlying understanding of what your film is about below the surface. Once you've done that, maybe get into talking about some of the stuff for like soundtrack, so anything to do with audio. In the end, you want to write a treatment that helps people see the film in their mind without you having to actually make it. Also, another little tip for writing is to make sure you're just being yourself. Just Write the way you feel comfortable writing. Don't try to be professional and rigid as be who you are and then people are going to get that and people are going to, you know, they're going to see your passion, your vision and all that kind of stuff and it's going to excite them. So this is where it's going to get probably a little bit trickier because we have to find some really cool images that express our vision for this treatment and for our film. So a good place to get images would be to uh, look at some films that you really like that you think are in a similar vein of what your film is in and There's plenty of there's a website actually called filmgrad.com Which you can get all these like really good quality film grabs from heaps and heaps of films and then go check that out Also, if you can't quite find something that you're looking for just try Google searching something in the line of what you want for example, you might want like a moody forest scene so you might search a um, misty, creepy misty forest or something like that and you might find some really cool images doing that. So I use InDesign to design my treatments but if you don't have InDesign then Google Slides works, uh, Microsoft Publisher, even Word. So when we're in the InDesign, I like to lay out my, my pages in a kind of 235 because it kind of looks cinematic, it's the, you know, the standard cinematic widescreen look. So right now, in this example, I'm creating a title. This is just the title page of the treatment. And I just like to keep it really simple. So I do like a full page image, and then the title of the film, and then just like some other words, like maybe director's treatment by Matthew Dawson or something like that. And then we have a really cool cover page for our treatment. Now, when it comes to a content page, so like the intro or the characters page, I was going to do like a full page image, but it wasn't quite working with the text, so I decided to go half and half. So I put the image full screen on half of the page, and then I made a block of colour, which I kind of took from the image, just to kind of keep it within a certain vibe. And then I laid out the text making sure that I gave it enough space on either side so it didn't look crammed. Once you've laid out all your text and all your images with a beautiful design, you are ready to go. So now you can export your treatment to a PDF and you're ready to send that out to producers, to crew members, to anyone, and get them all excited and fired up about your short film. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm doing a vlog series at the moment 
where I'm showing the behind the scenes of my film. So if you haven't watched that, then have a look at it now. And I'll be doing a new vlog soon, which will cover the storyboarding of my short film, which is going to be pretty cool. So I'll catch you later.